All right, here's a continuation of the last video. Just more like a blog thing for me to kind of remember what all I had done on this and what I need to do. Uh, bought this 71 Cadillac Coupe de Ville off a friend. Guy owned it beforehand, did some messed up stuff that I don't agree with. I have to go figure out why, if maybe why he did it. And more so, how I try to get this back to being original. One of the problems this does have is, as you can see, the roof has been cut. I don't know why he was trying to do this whole big old open top kind of a deal, because it leaks, it sounds noisy, it's crappy in my opinion. Piss poor job, as you can see from how everything was you know, fitted and just buttoned together, you know. So I'll have to figure out where I can get metal for this thing to reinforce and make the roof look, you know, like it was stock and not cut up again. You know, I have some contacts where I can buy the right kind of metal once I know what kind of sheet metal and size and gauge and all that kind of stuff it is. Uh, other fun things that the guy did is he gutted a lot of the uh, stuff from the inside of the car, which was nice for the Cadillacs. When doors back together, he uh, most of the uh, regulators and stuff don't work right now. I'm guessing you need to cut some wires because I can see a whole bunch of crappy butt connectors and stuff here and inside the car. He also bypassed the uh, regular ignition switch for starting it. For whatever reason, I don't know if it's because neutral safety switch is bad or what, but he rigged up this stupid little button down here to go bypass it. So I hope the one they fix all the wiring and get the switch you know, working correctly again in the reverse switch and all that. And if you can see from up here, you only see a couple wires. That's because he gutted everything else out from under here. He took out the, the box that the heater core goes in, the heater core itself, the blower motor, all the stuff for it, the sensors that were for the auto climate control, which I thought was pretty cool for these old cars to go have. I'm guessing the spot here that was you know cut out whatever it may have been for cruise control but none of that's on the car anymore if it did have it the sentinel and that stuff doesn't work right now because most of that's gone he removed all the duct work for the vents and he did stupid shit like put speakers behind them when there was a spot on top for them i don't know why he did it but i hope to get all that stuff fixed too once i know where the hell to get parts also he put you know some cheap ass mirrors on it for the person who owned it before my friend so i gotta find the the right kinds to be on here and for the cables to go control it. Uh, let's see what else. It does start and run fine, at least. I just recently did an oil change on it. You just bump the starter and she runs nice and smooth. Sounds good from the back with the Flowmaster knockoffs the guy put on here and the uh, resonators. So it's got a nice gurgle to it and the idle. I got the doors open and it's cold right now, so that's why she's running a little rich. Let's see, walk around the other way. Paint job's not too bad for being original. You know, once I get the roof stuff all figured out, I do plan to get painted. I might keep it the original, you know, blue that it's had. I may go for something else, who knows. And he's also done some other stupid wiring stuff, like, he used to have the battery back here where he cut the metal out for what's supposed to go under where the battery is here. So I gotta figure out how the hell to go get that all done. MSD ignition stuff's been put on here, which is fine, but the way it was all wired with the inline fuse hanging here and going up, I wanted to get all this rerouted and look proper. I had to put another carburetor on it. The uh, 600 CFM carburetor that was on here before was some old elder block that gave out, so I put a 750 CFM on here. So I remember I used to have uh, other electronics and stuff over here, it looks like for the mounts around the carburetor, gotta get that fixed. The wiring for the headlights has all been chewed up and bypassed and the fiber optic stuff on the hood's missing, so I gotta see if I can even get that all fixed. But the lights all work at least. I'm gonna get rid of these cheap ass uh, fog lights that don't even work on here. I gotta see if I can get the little bumper guards and get that all back on here so that looks you know, back to being stock. There's the fiber optic stuff I'm talking about. I have no idea if I can even find ones that will fit this thing that have working fiber optics anymore. But she sounds good when you're ever up too. The 
gas idle works. It should needs work, but hopefully, maybe some of you guys who watched this video can help me figure out places where I might be able to find a lot of the stuff I mentioned I'm missing or it's been cut out or broken. Uh, I do have Cadillac manuals that I recently downloaded that can help me figure out how to troubleshoot a lot of the stuff and what parts look like and where they should be. But other than that, I'm going to kind of need some help. I guess that's it for this video.